Let us all rejoice in the Lord as we celebrate the feast day in honor of all the saints at whose festival the angels rejoice and praise the Son of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning and welcome to Mass on this rather wet and stormy Sunday morning. But however, let us not be put off because today is the glorious feast of all saints as we come together and consider the works of the great saints in our church and the legacy they have left us and the example they have set us. But before we come to do so, my brothers and sisters, let us first consider those sins which separate us from God our Heavenly Father. And so let us come before him in penitence and faith. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We know. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to our appointed words of Holy Scripture. First reading, a reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw another angel rising where the sun rises, carrying the seal of the living God. He called in a powerful voice to the four angels whose duty was to devastate land and sea. 
Wait, before you do any damage on land or at sea or to the trees, until we have put the seal on the foreheads of the servant of our God. Then I heard how many were sealed, 144,000 out of all the tribes of Israel. After that, I saw a huge number, impossible to count, of people from every nation, race, tribe, and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They shouted aloud, Victory to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb, and all the angels who were standing in a circle round the throne, surrounded the elders and the four animals, prostrated themselves before the throne, and touched the ground with their foreheads, worshipping God with these words, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and strength to our God for ever and ever. Amen. One of the elders then spoke and asked me, Do you know who these people are, dressed in white robes, and where have they come from? I answered him, You can tell me, Lord. Then he said, These are the people who have been through the great persecution, and they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. The response in the psalm, Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, and on the waters he made it firm. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The second reading is from the first letter of St. John. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us. Let us be called God's children, and that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are is to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him because we shall see him as he really is. Surely ev everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please do take a seat. I'm really happy for this feast. I, I really love the Feast of All Saints because the title alone makes this a big celebration. We do not only celebrate one or two saints, but all the saints of the Catholic faith. We are aware that there are more than 366 saints canonized in our faith and there are new ones coming forward as we speak the days in a year are not enough to assign each saint an actual day the feast day therefore solves this problem today we honor all of our saints we honor today those who have been worthy to enter the kingdom of God we celebrate this day to move us to strive in life through their examples and to merit the mercy of God through their intercession in today's gospel reading, we have just heard Jesus speaking on the mount, teaching the Beatitudes. Right at the start of his teaching ministry, Jesus made sure that the apostles understood the need to be holy. To enter the kingdom is the supreme goal of following Jesus. It should be our supreme goal. The Beatitudes are supposed to be a guide, challenge, and bring the apostles to eternal life. In our present day, the Beatitudes are meant to make us saints. To be a saint is the minimum requirement of being a good disciple. If we look at the lives of the saints, they are no different from us, except they had seriously responded to God's invitation to become holy. Some, like Saints Peter, Paul, Mary Magdalene, and Augustine, were even worse than many of us. Yet, they attained sainthood because they had found favor with God and lived out his teachings. St. Paul realized that he may boast of it in the Lord. We can also say that we can be saints in the Lord, that is, if we are to claim and strive for holiness. It will not be for praise, it will not be for recognition, it will not be for vanity, but because of our love for God. It is being with God to gain heaven that is and should be our goal. The saints remind us to keep our sights fixed high, to remember who we are and the glorious possibility that God offers all of us. We know that the saints are in heaven praying for us now. Not only the saints' lives, but also their writings are very precious gifts of grace to remind us of who we are and the glory that God is offering all of us. We hope and pray that all those near and dear to us who have departed this world are already or will be soon numbered among the saints. And so we pray for them especially during this very month. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us now stand to affirm our faith in the words of the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We now offer up our prayers to God the Father Almighty in union with Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray for those who approach God's altar on behalf of his church that as they ascend the mountain of the Lord and stand in his holy place, they may always come before him with clean hands and pure hearts. Lord, hear us. We pray that those who are in positions of power and influence in the world may be peacemakers who respect the life and the dignity of all the children of God. Lord, hear us. We pray that we may be among the poor in spirit, the gentle and merciful, the clean of heart, so that we may inherit the blessings of God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. We pray for the grace of good vocations, especially to the priesthood, that the gospel of life and truth may be proclaimed and the number of God's holy ones be increased. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are in a period of great distress, especially those who are being persecuted for their faith, that they may remain close to the Lamb who was slain to be made strong in his victory. We pray for those in our parish who have asked for our prayers. Among them we pray for Yolanda de Gale, Sister Angela, Helen Holman, Beryl Higgs, Norma Piggott, Rennie Holman, June Borton, Verity Thompson, Daniel Sibley, Wayne Campbell, Ivor, Maxine and Megan, Gary Savile, Anthony and Greta, David Millard, Caroline, Debbie Port, Sage and family, Hugh and Val Jones, Sam and Jenny. We pray also for those personally known to us who have asked for our prayers at this time. Lord, hear us. We pray for all our beloved departed ones who are children of God in this life, that they may soon see God as he is and stand before his throne with the palms of victory in their hands. We pray for our faithful departed and we pray for those whose anniversary of death is around this time. St. Francis Mary, Sister Francis Mary, Cordelia Sage, Father Edgar Bailey Priest, Louisa Santa Maria, Arthur William Bacon, Bessie Donald, Michael Spry, Ambrosine Mayers, Ethel Dean, Eva Clark, Baby Angel, Ernest Bray. We pray also for those in our own families whom we no longer see in this world. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord. Let thy perpetual shine upon them. Rest in peace. We bring all our prayers with all our saints in heaven, but most especially we ask for the prayers of our Blessed Virgin Queen of Heaven, Mary, as we turn to her and greet her with the words, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, receive our petitions and grant us all our true needs. All these things we ask in the name of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, if my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today your, by your gift we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already give you eternal praise. Towards her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church, through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis the Pope, Bartholomew the Ecumenical Patriarch, Justin the Archbishop of Canterbury, Jonathan our Bishop, all the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the place of hope and the coming of your Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a visible sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and I shall be.
Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace, so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland, through Christ our Lord. Wish you all a very pleasant day, and please do make sure that you get home safe and dry. Do we have any notices? Do we have any? Yes. Good morning, everybody, on this miserable morning. Um, if you're with us for the first time today, a very warm welcome to St Anselm's. Tea and coffee is served after Mass in the hall there. Nice chance to get to know each other. And uh, now I must thank Father Angus for being here on this miserable day and leading our work. So thank you, Father Angus. And of course, Anthony there giving our hymns for us, our music. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> <clears throat> Yesterday was quite a busy day in Hayes and we were very happy to be part of that. And also it was our bric-a-brac day and our team of stalwarts, as I like to call them, raised £30 for this church, which helps us, of course, pay the bills and things like that. So well done to all those who were here yesterday. For that. Please take the pew sheet home with you, and if you know anybody else that would like one, please take an additional one for them. Uh, there are a few variations on the all of the service this week, as you'll see. There is nothing tomorrow, but there is a parish mass for All Souls Day at 7 o'clock on Tuesday, which is All Souls Day. Uh, Father Matthew will be back for that. Uh, it's always a special occasion for a lot of people who have lost loved ones and still remember them. There is a list at the back of the church there on the table. Should you wish to put any names of the deceased people you know or have known, but please print the names if you would. It makes it so much easier to Father Matthew to read them during the Mass. Thank you. Um, I think that's everything on the sheet I can see. I wish you all a blessed week. Stay safe and well. And we end with the Angelus of Our Lady Shrine and our recessional hymn. And I'll hand back to Father Angus for our final blessing. Thank you, Father Angus. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.